equipment dealers. Know your market inside and out with Fusible's dealership solutions. Do more with good data at fusible.com slash the dirt. Today we're here to talk about the new Dash 5 excavators from Kubota. What's new and what are some of the improvements to the models? Today we're here to talk with Bill who's going to give us a quick rundown. What are the new Dash 5 models rolling out specifically? I know it's not the full lineup, so which models are we talking? Yeah, so for our new Dash 5 series, over the last several years, we've introduced the U17 Dash 5, and that's one of the most recent. It's our 1.7 metric ton machine. It's a zero tail machine. It does have adjustable tracks, so you can narrow the tracks, get in through those tight spaces, gates and doorways, oh, nice. and then expand the tracks back out. From there, it goes up to the KXO 40 dash 5, so our four ton unit. The four ton unit is a special unit to us because you have three different backfield blade options. So you can have your straight blade, your angle blade, or a six in one dozer blade. The U48, that's our 4.8 ton as well. After that is our 5.5 ton, so the U55. That's our tight tail. The KXO 57-5 is our 5.7 ton machine. So in that five ton category, you've got both a tight tail machine and a conventional tail machine. And then after that, it jumps up to our eight ton. So the KXO 80-5. So just to clarify, uh, the six way blade and the, and the four way blade options, is that only on the second model you listed or does that go up to the eight ton machine as well? No, the six way is only available in the four ton machine. So the KXO 40-5 has all the Dash 5 stuff with a few extra nuances about it that we'll talk about later on the call. But you get the straight blade, angle blade, or six-way blade option. Just angle mm -hmm. has been such a handy feature out in the field, let alone when you add that six-way blade. Now, one of the primary things that it helps with for us anyways is, uh, you know, the only way to approach a trench at certain angles is you've got to spin the machine which means you're tearing up all the sod in the yard or you're trying to do a little jump turn so that you're you're not tearing it up so much versus having that six-way blade especially four-way blade though even helps i can just hit it straight on and manipulate the dirt the way that i need to i think that's a, a very underappreciated tool that's starting to come on some of these newer mini machines so what are some of the other new features coming on the dash 5 models so for the 40 up to the 80 that have the Dash 5 features, you'll have a full color LCD screen. There's a seven inch screen monitor that you can monitor all your biometrics of the machine while it's in operation. If you have the optional rear view camera installed, matter of a simple press of a button, and you split the screen in approximately a 60-40 split. So you've got a full color view of what's going on behind your machine as well as still being able to see some of those biometrics on the machine, you know, your, your temp gauges, your fuel gauge, the time, that sort of thing. So telematics, that's mm -hmm. something that we have kind of on a number of machines with a number of manufacturers, telematics seems to be the big thing that's coming on the smaller machines. They've kind of been around in the big market, but now they're coming to the small machines. But as a result, I think there's a lot of owner operators out there that it's you know, small operations and they kind of have this mentality of, you know, I only own three machines. I'm not really struggling to keep track of where my machines are. But I think there's a lot more to telematics than a lot of guys kind of get off of the initial pass. Can you kind of break down some of the ways that telematics can help smaller contractors outside of just knowing the location of their machines? Yeah, sure. So our Kubota Now Telematics, once you've downloaded the app onto your phone, the owner of that contract, the owner of that machine, will get notifications not only where the machine is, but there's any error messages that pop up, maintenance schedules that come up. Let's say you hit your 500 hours and it's time for a scheduled maintenance. You'll get a, an indication on that. Through the app, you have instant access to the operator's manual for that machine because we all know that that book stays with that machine for its life, right? It's, it's always, always back there. Always. Always. And it's used <laughs> all the time. Sarcastically all speaking. All the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So you have instant access to that through the app as well. There is the ability for you to go in and see what the error messages are or maintenance calls are for that machine. Yes, you can track your machine to see where it's at. You can set up geofences around various job sites and you'll get notifications when the machine leaves or enters that geofence, that area. You can set a geofence for multiple locations as well as where your equipment storage is. So if it goes back to the shop and you'll get notified every time it leaves or comes in. Another great thing about the telematics 
is it gives you the ability to see, you know, what your battery output is. Do I have a good, strong battery in my machine right now? Or I can get into my fuel, see what my temps are on my coolant, my oil. There's a lot of maintenance features right there that really should put that owner operator at ease. And then there's there's one really, really neat feature that we like about the Kubota Now Telematics is the restart inhibit feature. So you don't want to worry about where your machine is. You don't want to worry about tracking your machine. You've got some jobs that you may rain out or you may be stalled because you're waiting on something else. And so you go to another job, but you don't need to take your machine off site, right? Well, you can inhibit that restart and then shut off your machine. Now that machine is going to stay there because nobody can go back and restart it until you reactivate that feature through the app. So diving in just a little bit further, does the does the telematics start to track historical data as far as fuel usage and engine loading? Do you start to get into some of those parameters as well? But before we get into that, I want to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of this video. Equipment dealers, want an edge in today's market? Fusible provides the crucial sales data and market analysis you need to make smarter inventory and sales decisions. Imagine knowing exactly what's selling in your region understanding emerging trends, and optimizing your stock to meet demand. With Fusible's flagship products like EDA Data, you're not just reacting to the market, you're anticipating it. Get the advantage at Fusible.com slash the dirt. Does the telematics start to track historical data as far as fuel usage and engine loading? Do you start to get into some of those parameters as well? So there is a kind of tip of the iceberg on that where you can get in and start to track, you know, how much fuel have you used? How many times have you had to maintenance the machine? The maintenance log is also available through the seven inch monitor in the machine itself. That's not telematics related, that's actually on the machine. So you've got a couple of options here to be able to get in and record or take a look at when your machine was running, how many hours did it run? At the end of the year, when you sit down and you're trying to balance your books on how many times I use this machine, you can go to your telematics, you can see where it was. Well, I know I used it on these jobs. I know we did this kind of work with it and you look at the log record in your machine, oh, I know that we used it for this many hours on this job, and go back and kind of check some balance against what your books say. And, you know, in your head, as a contractor, you probably quote some things right off the top of your head. Oh, I think we can do this for X. And now you can go back to the records from the machine and from the telematics and either verify or adjust for the next future job. You went exactly where I was gonna go with that. It is, as a small contractor, you know, there's so many times that, that you may look at a job type and you go, we, we make money every time on those jobs. I just, I bid it right off the hip because I know exactly where we're going to land. And, mm -hmm. and there's other jobs that you go, those are just not worth it. And it's not until the end of the year that you're going back through your books that everyone, everyone's kind of doing this on what your fuel burn was and what job it was. And we can, and again, yeah, we really made money. And, and to me, that's the power. That's the true power of telematics is instead of kind of hip firing on that stuff, especially against all of your competitors who are doing the exact same thing, you're able to go back through and go, okay, that was one of those jobs that we thought we made a lot of money on. And it turns out we, we did twice as many hours as I thought we did every time we had one of those jobs and our fuel burn rate was higher. And, and it turns out our margin was actually smaller than this job over here that I thought I didn't make any money on. Mm -hmm. You're no longer kind of guessing on that stuff like guys have traditionally done. And so I think that's a lot of the power of the telematics that a lot of small contractors haven't really tapped into and they're leaving money on the table as a result. In your experience with other telematics type programs on other brands of machines, did you have to get into a subscription for this? So th that's a great point. A lot of the telematics packages I'm familiar with, it is a paid subscription to, you know, it's it's one of those things like, like get buying a car. You get your first year free and mm -hmm. then they're going to charge you for it or six months and then, then they're going to charge you for it. So that mm -hmm. being said, do you guys have a subscription based service on that? So there is. And the way that it works with us, the Kubota Now Telematics includes three years of service with the purchase of that program. At the end of those three years, the customer can opt out or go down. It's a low rate, about $10 a month or $100 a year to keep all the same features. Oh, that's nothing. So, yeah. When you think about what you can get out of it, what it can do for you, I think $100 a year, that's that's really you know pretty peanuts. 
Absolutely. So are there any other features on these new Dash 5s that, that you want to highlight? The KXO 40 Dash 5, I really like to talk about this one because we've taken the 40 Dash 5 as one of our top selling machines. It's a great rental piece. It's in that category where it's fairly easy to trailer from job site to job site. You're going to spend some hours of each day in that cab or in that ROPS unit. Well, if you're in a fully enclosed cab unit, number one, you get full climate control, so AC and heat. You get a comfortable operator station, ergonomic design to the controls. But while you're in there, you can actually Bluetooth connect your phone. So now you can listen to your radio, you can listen to your podcast or whatever you like over the satellite stuff, and you can make and take your calls all while sitting in the seat. You put the phone in a cup holder, you can plug it in and charge it via the USB port, and you can actually make and take your calls while sitting in the cab. So this is where I'm going to hold your feet to the fire, because okay. this Bluetooth technology in mm -hmm. these machines is not necessarily new, but I will say the making phone calls aspect, it's great mm -hmm. being able to listen to your music and everything, but the making phone calls aspect has always been the most garbled mess you can ever imagine and i always end up pulling my phone back out and taking my hand off the controls because it's unusable right. so bill how good is the quality of the bluetooth calling so i have sat in the cab of the machine with it running at full throttle ac on max i hear my phone ring i can stop what i'm doing and it's not any lesser than what we have right now on this video call it's equivalent to i like to call it my wife's 2020 yukon it's equivalent to sitting in the car. It's a newer car. It's five years old. Yeah. Excellent sound quality inside. And I get that same quality of sound, both in the microphone and the speakers. I get that same quality of sound in that cab of that machine. So I highly recommend that you get your hands on a 40-5 as soon as you can, and you test that theory out. And then you call me back and let me know how you like it. Yeah, absolutely. That's huge. That's such a game changer to not have to take your hands off the controls. Obviously, yep. especially when working around people, stop the machine, focus on what you're doing. But boy, if I'm just digging a trench through the woods, if I can keep working while I'm chatting on the phone, that is a, yeah. that, that's a huge production boost. So Brian, how much do you get into the larger machines, like in that eight ton category? So in our particular business, our eight ton is the workhorse of the company. That is when okay. we take a machine out, it is generally going to be that eight ton class. So I consider our KXO 80-5 the Cadillac of our lineup. Because a lot of these features that you get on these other machines, from our K008, which is our just under one ton machine, all the way up to the full eight ton category, the 80 comes with all these optional features as standard. So you're automatically getting dual line auxiliary service ports. You're automatically getting the seven inch LCD screen. You automatically get the telematics. You automatically get the review camera. The one thing it does not have right now is going to be that Bluetooth connectability where you can make and take those calls. But everything else is in there as standard for this machine. It's a large roomy cab, big foot pedals, easy to control. And, you know, those bigger machines, yeah, they weigh a lot, but they just they balance so well out there on the job site. Those eight tons, they are just the perfect size. It's a small enough footprint. You can get it in most residential lots, but at the same time, it's got the oomph behind it that if you need to dig a basement, you need to go, you know, we use them for septic fields all the time. Those mm -hmm. things will move a lot of dirt for a small footprint. Yeah. And you've still got the option of the straight blade or the angle blade there. We don't have the six-way blade option for that machine, but... I don't know how much a six way would really benefit you there because now you're adding extra weight to the machine that you may not necessarily need, but you're on rubber tracks. You have the option to go steel tracks or even steel wide tracks. And if you want steel tracks with rubber pads, that's another option as well. So we can add that versatility to that machine. On top of all that, we've engineered, designed, build, create all our attachments. The majority of our attachments, I should say, are in-house. So they're all performance matched back to the machine. I was going to say, you nailed it on the head with the versatility. That really sums up those eight ton class machines. The fact that you can, you know, if you're going to be on turf or dirt all the time, you can go full rubber pads. The fact that if you're going to be on asphalt or pavement, you can switch to steel. And then there's that perfect in between with the bolt on rubber pads. Mm -hmm. uh, it just gives you so much flexibility. And again, you're in this nice little footprint that will get into most small lots. 
but you have enough lifting capacity that you can start craning some stuff around. You can throw a bigger bucket on there. You can really hog some material. That is the workhorse of our company, and there's a reason for that. It is just a versatile machine. Absolutely. So there's a lot of bonuses here. You know, you've got your Dash 5, newest generation of the machines, uh, and we've got a, a whole lineup of those. We've got the 7-inch full-color screen inside. You've got the option of a ROPS unit or the enclosed cab unit with full climate control, the comfortable seating, the large floor spaces. You can raise the top glass on the Dash 5 machines that have cabs. The bottom glass comes out and stows inside the cab with the operator. So you're not having to leave it in the truck. You don't have to worry about it getting cracked on the job site. And then all our telematics, our, our full CE lineup is telematics available. It doesn't matter if you're a large company or a small company. You could have one machine or 10 machines. It's going to be a benefit across the board. Well, I'm eager to get my butt in one of those seats because in all honesty, you guys have quite the reputation already in the industry with your machines. And it sounds like these are just it, it really great improvements all the way around. So, Bill, thank you so much for the time. And, and I'm looking forward to getting in one of these. Thanks, Brian. We couldn't be the number one selling excavator all around the world with 20 years plus running without having good reliability and easy serviceability, a plus all the comforts of home in the cab for the operator. Absolutely. I'm I'm in total agreement there. So thanks again, Bill. Well, thank you again for Bill coming on the show to discuss the new Dash 5 models from Kubota, the new mini excavators in the lineup there. As always, I hope this helps you in your business. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Dirt.